yeah, when I first started playing with my morning jacket, I didn't use any sort of computer technology. I wanted to keep everything analog. And I was always kind of opposed to having a laptop on stage for a lot of different reasons. I didn't like the way it looked. I wouldn't be able to see the keys or I'd have a misclick. Now with the advent of uh, touchscreen technology, I can make things bigger and just tap it. And I can see a lot clearly in the dark when the lights are low on stage and so forth. So I'm really happy with that. I found Open Labs. I love the idea of them making a PC computer and a keyboard shell. So I could play it like an instrument, still felt like I was playing a keyboard. I could sample in tons of the analog I used in the studio, so I didn't have to carry those old analog keyboards on the road with me. So it was kind of a perfect match for me. Open Labs has partnered with Lenovo and they're using this flip technology where you can flip a laptop and use it as a tablet and use it as a touchscreen. It has a solid state hard drive, so I don't have to worry about hard drives crashing. I can turn it around. Nobody can even see it from the audience because I can have it lay flat and just tap it. Open Labs created this new program called Stage Light. It's a music bank software, and it's preloaded on a lot of the Lenovo computers. It's really cool because it's kind of the perfect intro software to start making music. You know, it's great for kids, it's great for people that just want to start basic and learn how to build songs and do simple things and then they can kind of move on and do even more complicated things. It has a cool drum machine that is easy to use and it's also designed to be used with a touch screen. So it's kind of perfect with the yoga. It has four different modes. So there's this mode and then there's the tablet mode which is just like any sort of tablet. You should use like that, carry, still on touch screen. And then there's, well, there's tent mode too, which is very cool. And then there's just your traditional laptop mode. So the cool thing about stage light is it's designed for people that are doing it maybe for the first time or they've tried it before and it got kind of frustrated and gave up. You know, it explains really simple from the beginning, you know, like what's a drum track, what's a vocal track and how you set it up and so forth. So the other cool thing about stage light is that it's a $10 software. So anybody can buy it, it's cheap. You can start making music right on the spot. You don't need thousands of dollars to buy expensive equipment. You know, with the solid state hard drive, you have the ability to run a lot of plugins, have tons of uh, storage and WAV files, so you can do a lot of complicated things within this tiny little thing here, so it's really cool. Lenovo also makes this all-in-one computer, which is really cool for the studio. I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes when I'm in the studio, I get bummed out by using a computer because you kind of get attached to it. But this, you can flip and you can kind of use like a tactile thing where it can be touch screen. So it feels a lot more like an instrument and you're making music with your hands. It's a lot more um, visceral experience. Perfect for the studio. Future of music. Yeah, I think the future is, is more bright than bleak. But again, I think it just depends on who's using the technology and what kind of taste they have. And I think it's really important to develop taste along with developing your skill and developing your knowledge of how technology works. My advice to anyone who wants to get into playing music and creating things with sound is to treat it like a language. You know, start small, learn a few things, build up your vocabulary. You know, it's like the equivalent of learning how to say, you know, please and thank you, where is the bathroom? You know, you start slow and as you build upon it, you kind of develop your own language, find things that you like. Sometimes you can get wrapped up in the technology and it can be a hindrance. And I think it's important for everybody to kind of have a balance with technology and not. When I first started making music, I was kind of a old school guy, I only liked analog stuff, you know, the band I play in, we, we still record to tape, we still use analog gear, but at the same time we still look to the future and try to utilize all technology and we want to make music that's looking forward instead of back. Mm -hmm.